I'm gonna be teaching you the eight figure webinar blueprint and formula that literally generates eight figures a year in annual revenue for multiple clients of mine in multiple different industries. And guess what? I can name on one single hand the amount of people in this world that can create the same kind of results that I'm about to share with you. Now, for those of you that watch until the end of this video, I'm gonna be giving you the webinar templates, literally a Google slide doc that's gonna give you a filler template you can fill in with your business information, the audience that you're going for, the core elements that need to be in the slides. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to implement this, everything that you need to know to build out your first seven or eight figure webinar and how to automate it, what is the automation that goes into it, how do you amplify this through ads, Everything is gonna be taught for those of you that stay until the end of this video. Guess how many of these people are gonna be teaching you this process? There's only one person and that's me and you're watching it right now. Now, one of the key things, even if you could buy a course or buy something on the content that you're about to watch, which there isn't out there, and even if you could, it would cost tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's exactly what the content that you're watching today is. And everything that you see on the Digital Marketing University on bensonsum.com and also on YouTube is exactly the type of content that's proceed with that value. Everything that you're seeing and everything that you're watching right now and you're gonna learn is based on real world experience, real world results that works in multiple different industries and businesses for growing online, proven digital marketing strategies. The best part of all of this is that there is zero catch. With all the videos that you see on the Digital Marketing University on bensonsum.com, on the YouTube channel, even the video that you're watching now, it's all gratis, which means it's free. It's my investment into you and into your business. People out there, they won't even share with you the seven figure webinar blueprint or even how to build a million dollars unless you pay them thousands of dollars. I personally will sell information because of two core reasons. The first reason is because I've got people that email me in, they comment on the videos, they send Facebook messages to me and they ask me how do they grow their business online? How do I overcome these challenges? How to overcome these uh, obstacles? Well, how do I increase my traffic? How do I increase my leads? How do I generate more sales? And I've noticed that there's a trend among all these different questions. And instead of me spending all the time trying to reply with detailed answers and personalized responses, I'm basically recording these videos so you can watch and learn exactly what you need to do. And at the same time, with structure and add even more depth into the content so you can really personalize this for your business. That's the first reason. The second reason, quite frankly, is because it allows me to add value to you and it builds my brand. That's what the, I guess you could say the thing that I'm getting from you back by making these videos is that I really build my brand and also allows me to reach more people. It also, also allows me to add more value and it's scalable as well. I don't have to personalize response to every single one. You guys get to see the exact videos. It's long, but it gives you step by step on how to do it. And you can't even buy this information or the knowledge, the wisdom, the experience, not information that I'm sharing with you in this video and all the other videos that are on YouTube and on the Digital Marketing University. Now, if you don't know my story, I wanna briefly share that with you so you have context into who I am, especially if this is the first time that you're watching or you've been watching my videos already and you haven't seen Behind the Success 001 where I share my story. So I originally came from Taiwan as an immigrant and really we started from a poor, poor to middle class background and we moved here, my parents separated and my whole goal of starting and getting into business was really by accident almost or I had a different purpose. It was to support my family and throughout that process I made a lot of mistakes. I started from negative, I got into a lot of debt, tens of thousands of dollars and I had to start from there and go all the way to where I am today. I started doing five figures, started doing six figures, started doing seven figures and today I'm essentially a digital strategic partner for multiple different companies in multiple different industries and advisors as well to be able to grow their business online with digital marketing. Now, I don't share this with you to brag with you, but I share this with you because I want you to know my story. And at the same time, it's possible for you to be able to be successful with everything that I'm teaching with you in the Digital Marketing University and the video that you're about to watch today. It comes from experience, it comes from principles, and also mistakes that I've made that cost a ton of money and a ton of time that you can save by just watching this video. So let's go into the main topic. First thing I want you to do is I want you to comment below, let me know if you're already using webinars or you're planning to add a webinar to your business or what industry you're in, comment below, let me know. At the same time, if you want more videos like this and everything to see on YouTube and on DMU, I want you to subscribe. If you subscribe, it'll tell me I'll keep creating these videos essentially for free for you to build your business online successfully. Now, webinars are a great way to be able to generate leads, turn those leads into sales in the shortest amount of time possible. And the core fundamental reason why it's so powerful is because you think about it, 
People, when they see your business online, they don't know anything about you, they don't like you, they don't trust you, at least for now. So how do we bridge the objections that they have, the skepticisms, that friction in between your target audience and your business and getting them to put their hard earned money in there? And one of the ways is using a webinar. Now while webinars are powerful is because they see you on the screen, you're educating them and you're adding value to them within a one to two hour span. It's almost like you imagine you're going to an event and you're watching someone give a presentation on stage. It establishes multiple different things and why do people do public speaking? And they use it to build their business is because it builds their authority. When you see someone speaking on stage, you automatically assume that their authority is someone that's respected. The second thing it does is that they're adding value and they're educating you. The third thing they're doing is they're building trust. They're sharing their story. They're adding value to you. They're solving your problems and they're adding and helping you achieve the results that you want. They're using a lot of psychology. They're doing all these different things and even more to really educate you as a person. And you're doing this, it's almost like you, when you do a webinar, you're doing, you're speaking on public, space, uh, public stage to your target audience, except you're doing it through a webinar online. That's why it's so powerful. Now obviously, there's gonna be a lot of tech questions here. I don't want you to get overwhelmed by what platform to use. So that's what I'm gonna share with you, the, the core platforms that I personally use and I've tested, that you can use them in your business. The first one is called GoToWebinar. GoToWebinar is one of the ones that's been around for a long time. You can go on there, they're one of the most stable ones for live webinars. You can go there and you host those things. Personally, like it as well to host live webinars. The second one you can use is called On24. On24 is really one of the ones that's more enterprise level, which means it's more expensive and more sophisticated, but it's an extremely solid platform. LinkedIn uses it to be able to run their educational webinars. The ones that I personally like to use is called Webinar Jam or Ever Webinar because it allows me to run an automated webinar to people at very different times so that once I record it once, then we can duplicate over and over again. Now this is a core principle and factor that you need to keep in mind in order for you to build that revenue that I was talking about, the seven to eight figures through the webinar. It's not gonna be you're gonna be doing a live webinar every single day, but once we get it nailed down, that one core webinar, we can automa automate the whole process, we can turn to an automated webinar, and then it's gonna be able to generate you sales every single day through that whole process that I'm about to go into. The first thing that we should focus on is the foundation of your webinar. What does the structure look like? Let's focus on that. Now at the beginning, what we wanna do, here's the simple formula. At the start of the webinar, in the first five to 10 minutes, what we wanna do is we wanna share with them the introduction about who you are. Tell your story, how you got started in the business. What are your values that are important to you? Why should your target audience pay attention to you? Now, this whole part, rather than you rambling on on the facts and all this stuff, you wanna make this story emotional. You wanna tell your story, the ups, the downs. You wanna build that relationship and that connection with your target audience in the first five minutes. That's the most important thing. You wanna build that emotional connection. You wanna start this whole process. Because if you get the intro wrong, then it gets, sets the wrong pace for the rest of the webinar. So at the beginning, you wanna make sure that your intro, you're very strong, it's very solid, you lead with emotion, you lead with your personal story. Now the second part of this webinar, what we wanna focus on, is we wanna talk about the meat of the webinar. We wanna share with your target audience the educational components, you wanna add value. Now, one of the biggest mistakes here that most people make on the webinars is they start educating and actually sharing with their target audience all these long-winded, super superficial stuff. What they really care about, what your target audience wants, and what you wanna focus on is you wanna understand what are the existing challenges, what are the existing beliefs that you wanna shatter and that you wanna shift and you wanna change in order for them to buy your product or your service. So you wanna be able to get a fine balance between you educating them and then at the same time, being able to share with them the beliefs that they need to have as well. So for example, Let's say you are in the fitness space and you have a fitness program and you wanna to sell to a fitness audience. You wanna help people lose weight. So in the webinar, you could talk about, hey, you should do this exercise, you can do, you could eat clean and all this stuff, or you can do this. What you, that's what most people would do, but what you actually wanna do is you wanna find out what are the existing beliefs of your target audience and how do you shift that in your presentation? That's what's the most important thing, because if your target audience does not have those mindsets, those beliefs shifted, they would not take their hard-earned money and invest with you. Of course, you're gonna have a balance between the value a, and also the belief shifting. But the belief shifting should take priority over the education and the value. So in the fitness example, the first thing you do, most people, what you can do is you can share with them, let's say belief number one. Most people think 
that you need to work out you know, seven days a week, you need to hit the gym very aggressively to be able to lose weight. You know, it's a lot of work, you need a lot of willpower. That's an existing belief that they have. How you could shatter that is you could say you actually don't need to work out that much. You know, you're able to, if you follow the right programs, the right exercises, then you can be able to lose weight or build muscle. You don't need to work out that often. You can work out just on the core days, even two to three days, if you follow this process. Now that right there, what I just gave you an example of, is just shattering their belief. Most people believe that they need to work out every single day, they need to use, use the willpower and all this stuff. It's a lot of friction, right? Which is why most people don't lose weight or build muscle. This is so much work to do. But you shatter belief, you said it actually doesn't take a lot of work. It takes the right work, the right process to be able to be successful with their fitness and also their diets. So that's one belief. Let's say you can do another belief. You wanna have, on average, three to five beliefs that you're shifting for your target audience and also giving them the value and the education after you share the belief and shatter that and shift it along the way. So for example, that could be the first one. People think that they need to work out a lot, they need to have all these different things, but you tell them you need to follow the right process. And the second thing you could do is people think that they need to eat extremely clean, you know, no carbs, they need to have, have, eat like no fats, they need to eat like no oily food, no McDonald's, no chips, no snacks, all the stuff that most people, junk food, right, they like to eat. What you could say is, you don't need to stop eating those. You can eat those in moderate amounts and still achieve your goals. And then you educate and add value and share with them what it is. So whatever it is you wanna define, what are the beliefs, what are the challenges related to those beliefs that your target audience already has in their mind and how can you shift it and be able to tie that with your process, your product, your service. Because as soon as you start making that shift, people will start believing in what it is that you value. And when you make that shift, it becomes so much more easier to be able to influence them in the right way because you wanna lead them in the right direction for success in overcoming their challenges. Now, the third core element that you must have in your webinar to make sure it converts extremely high and generates that revenue for you and build your audience is you wanna make sure that you have three core video testimonials that are related to your target audience about the product or service that you have and you're trying to get them to buy and share their experience from before and after. And I'm gonna give you a list of questions at the end of the video, but for now, you wanna have three at least, the best testimonials that you have of your clients or your customers, talking about how great your product or service was, how it changed their life, how it solved their problems, how they got better results with your product or service, and you wanna seed that in the webinar. You wanna include that throughout the webinar in different parts. Usually what you wanna do is you wanna include that right in the first 10 minutes, you wanna include that in the next 25 to 30 minutes, and you wanna include that at the end, 40 to 50 minutes before you go into the next structure that I'm gonna talk about for your webinar, where you start introducing your product, you start asking for the, the money, and you start going and converting them into an actual customer. Now, one of the other core elements that you wanna include throughout the webinar is you should always be talking about the theme of the webinar. What I mean by that is you always be focused on the results that your target audience wants to achieve, what are their outcomes that they want, and at the same time, what are the challenges that they wanna overcome? You wanna tie that theme around your entire webinar. The other element that you can use this to be able to effectively implement this is showing who is this webinar for and who it's not for. And who are the people that are the most successful in accomplishing the results that they want and people that are not successful in accomplishing the results that they want. So for example, tying back to our fitness example, you can see that for people that, who this webinar is for is for people that believe that they wanna make a change. They wanna make a shift right now. They believe that they can own, they now know the key process that they need to be able to have to achieve the results that they want. They understand the process that needs to happen in their own mind and also in their body and their day-to-day -day life that needs to make the shift. Uh, people who this is not for, you can go and say that this is for people that you, know, that you believe it's too much work. You know, you think that's too much time, it's gonna to cost too much money to be able to achieve the results that you want. Or at the same time, you can say all the shattering and unacceptable uh, beliefs that people have that don't fit with your product or your service or what you're teaching them on this webinar. Once you've established this, the reason why it's so important to establish uh, who this is for, who's not for, is that once you have this, people will know that they are clearly aligned with what audience you're trying to attract. You're also showing what is the community that you're building around your product or your service. That's extremely important. What is the community that you're building? What is the audience? Define that very clearly and you're gonna increase the conversion rate because once we define this, we'll be able to lead into your compelling offer throughout the webinar. And you're gonna increase your conversions because you have a clearly defined message, you clearly define emotions, 
the psychology and everything that you're crafting throughout the webinar is targeting a specific person in your audience. Now we're going into the two core compelling components of how do we lead into the conversion part. Once you've given them the intro, you're seeding them with video testimonials, you have the structure, you're defining the community and the target audience, and you educated them, you shattered their beliefs, and you shifted their core behaviors, what's the core thing next thing to do to be able to convert them into an actual customer or a client of yours? Now, the first thing that you can do is called the stack or the build up. So what you wanna do here is you wanna really build up the value of your product or your service. And usually on the webinar, you wanna give them a special compelling offer. So how you do that is you could say, for example, whatever product you have, product A, you wanna define the product that you have and then you wanna add bonuses along with it. You wanna add something that top three bonuses that are really gonna make the difference that are gonna add them to the life. For example, if you have a fitness program, you have your core fitness program, you put a value beside it, let's say it's, 1497 or 1997 or two or three or five or $10,000. It's a core fitness program. And then below that, you show them that the bonus that they get. Let's say it's a personalized training session with you where they jump on the phone with you for the first month or the second month or the third month. And you're able to walk them through the exact process for them to lose weight. You're there for them. You hold their hand. You answer their questions. That's one of the bonuses that they get but only exclusively on the webinar. The second bonus you can give is let's say a detailed personalized meal plan that they're gonna be able to use on their mobile app or something where they can go on, they can see their uh, nutrition diets, you can see their diet that they're eating, the food they're eating, the calories, all that stuff. They don't need to worry about calculating all those things. They just plug it in, they build it in their app, and then they can get it. And they can get free access because they're on this webinar. The third one you can give is let's say you can give them special promotional discounts or a product, let's say the shaker bottle, a protein shake, the core nutrition that they need to have, and you give it to them, it probably costs like four or $500, but you negotiate a special price with whatever local uh, GNC or whatever specific fitness company that you were working with and be able to get the products right there, you ship it out to them. You, let's say you have the core fitness program, you have the mobile app that calculates everything for them. They don't need to worry about the numbers. You do a personalized session that walks them through everything they need to do, hand hold them along the way. You give them special bonuses and also at the same time, everything they need to know, protein shakes, uh, diets, all the food that they need to eat, all that stuff, you include that. All that adds to the compelling offer. Once you build this up, you associate the value for each one. Let's say you build up to the total value is $10,000, $15,000, whatever it is, you wanna make sure the value is huge. And each of your bonuses makes your core offer stronger, it makes it more compelling, and it solves more problems and it helps them achieve the results faster. That's what you wanna do for the bonuses. You wanna make sure the bonuses accelerate the results and solve their problems and makes your offer so much better. The rule of thumb that you wanna have for your bonuses is that you want them to look at the bonus and be like, I wanna pay you and buy your product or service just for the bonuses alone. I don't care about the core program, I just want the bonuses. That's a rule of thumb that you wanna have is the bonuses is so compelling that they wanna get it just for that. So once you have that, you consolidate it, once you build it up, then we go into the next part. The next core thing we wanna go into is your compelling offer. Now, once you've built up the value, it's extremely high. People are thinking, oh my God, this is insane. It's 15, 20, 10,000, whatever it is, X amount of dollars. Then when you present the offer to them, what you wanna do now is that you show the actual pricing. So for example, is it 1497? Is your program 1997? Is it 2497? Is it 997? Whatever price of your product or your service, you list it out. And here's what you wanna include on your compelling offer. You wanna make sure that the value that you built up in the before, the stack or the buildup, is extremely high. And then when you show them the actual price, it's disproportionately lower than what you built up. That's the first thing. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you introduce scarcity and introduce urgency in the offer period. So for example, you can make it exclusive for only 30 people that you're accepting just for this webinar alone, just for this month, or just for this week. So you can make it in with some authenticity and sincerity when you're making the offer. And at the same time, you build urgency saying that this is only available for the next 15 to 20 minutes on this webinar, it's for 30 people. Those two elements must be there to be able to increase the conversions on the webinar. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna offer two specific prices for the people that are on the webinar. The first pricing is you wanna have your full pricing. Whatever that is, let's say, for example, it's a $997 product for that fitness one, and then you wanna give them a payment plan. You wanna make it easier for people to buy that product or the service that you have. And you give them a payment plan, let's say it's usually if you have a $997 product, you can do a payment plan of six payments for $197. So that way you're able to build up. It's usually two to $300 more or four to $500 more than if they paid the full price. 
The way that you do this again is a principle that I called contrast to comparison. Now contrast comparison, you're doing this when you do the build up of the value, they're seeing that it's 10, $15,000 worth of value, real world actual value, and then they're seeing the price. So to them, they don't even have to justify the price because the, what they're gonna pay is disproportionately lower than the value that they're receiving. The second thing that you're doing is you're also using this through the payment plan. You're making them buy the full payment because it's better for cash flow, right, when you get the money right up front. Versus if they do a payment plan, most people might cancel, some people might cancel, you're gonna get churn, which I'll talk about later. But what's gonna happen is once you have that payment plan option and they add it up, they can see it's two to $300 more. Now some people might take that option, but you can do the 997 and you do that, People are gonna see the contrast comparison. Are they willing to pay more to get uh, the same amount of thing? And most people are gonna push them into buying that full price, you get the money right up front, and that's really one of the core things. Now the next element you wanna have to make this a super compelling offer, you wanna include a risk reversal. Now risk reversal is one of the most powerful principles you can put in place, regardless of even if you're using a webinar. But in this case, in the webinar, when you do a risk reversal, you do a most typical one is a 30 day money back guarantee. And that's one of the things that you can do when they buy, they have 30 days to use the bonuses, they can go through the course, they don't like it, they can email you, no questions asked, they can get the money back. That's one of the simple way to do it. Another way you can do it, you can do it on results guarantee, meaning that you can help them guarantee they're gonna lose weight, let's say in the fitness example, five to 10 pounds in the first three to six months or something. Something that you know is achievable, something that you know is doable, but you set that bar for them and you set that expectation. That's one of the ways that you can do it to a results guarantee. Another way you can do it is you can do a bonus guarantee. So for example, if you don't like the uh, course at the end of the day, you can keep the bonuses, but you have to give back access to the course. This way you're almost like give and take a little bit. So these three are core ways you can do a results guarantee, a typical money back guarantee with a time limit on it or a bonus guarantee on the bonuses that they can keep and then they give the course back because you have a structured access or something if you're doing a program, for example. But there's multiple different guarantees I'll share with you later on, but these are just three ones I wanna share with you in this video. Now, once you introduce this compelling offer and they're seeing those prices on the screen, they're seeing the timer that's counting down till the end of the webinar, they're seeing the uh, specific amount of people that can sign up for the product or the service. They're seeing that you have the risk reversal on that page, that one single slide. Now what we wanna do is we wanna transition into the top three closes on the webinar. So as part of the process, you wanna be able to do these three closes to really push people off the fence. There's gonna be people that are gonna buy right away as soon as you present the offer, but there's also gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be on the fence, they're gonna have doubts, they're gonna have skepticisms, and that's how we're gonna address them in the next two core main parts of this structured webinar. So the first part is we wanna use the close of if all this did for you was this, how would it change your life? That's the close. So essentially on that slide, you wanna show if all this did for you was and you wanna show the results or you wanna show the challenges. If all this did for you, let's say on the nutrition example, if all this did for you was helped you lose five to 10 pounds in the next two, three months, would it be worth it? If all this did for you was helped you live a healthier, active lifestyle and have a ton more energy, would it be worth it? So those are things that you wanna present these statements and their questions to move them off the fence. You wanna focus on the results and also the challenges that I wanna overcome. That's the first thing. The second thing you can do is the two roads. I love this one. This is the one where you show them if they go down road with you and they buy the product or service, what does that look like? You wanna paint that picture for them. What are the results that they can expect? What is the community that they're about to join? And what is the product and service that they're gonna get? You wanna paint that journey of what that's gonna look like. That's the first option. Or the second option is they walk down this road, they don't buy the product or service, they jump off this webinar on with you and then they just go back to their day to their lives and then three to six months later or a year later, they decide that they wanna jump back too. They wasted so much time, they wasted so much money, they wasted their opportunity that they'll never get back. So you wanna paint that picture where it's a little bit negative, it's also a little bit challenging for them. They're going back to basically having no change in their life. So that's one of the second clothes. The third one that you wanna do is you wanna show them if, if the money is given to them, if the money that they're paying for the product or service, they get back. But the time is something that they'll never get back. You wanna show that when they pay that back, they can regain the money, but they can never get the time back if they don't spend the money with you. Or even if they do spend the money, that time that's invested with your product or service, they'll exponentially increase the results that they achieve. So those are three core closes that you must include in your webinar. Now the second core main part of this webinar is we have to do a Q&A. Now this Q&A is gonna be 15 to 20 minutes long. 
and you want to address and answer your buyers objections you want to answer their questions you want to answer the challenges that they have why they are moving forward and what you're going to find when you do this the first time and when you do this over and over again there's going to be a consistency of questions that people are going to ask i'm going to give you four of them right now the first question people are going to ask is time what's the time that it's going to take for me to invest in this course how much time do I have to put in to achieve the results what's the time like for me to be able to uh, get started in the course Time is one of the core questions that people have and core objections. The second one is money. Money is always a thing. I don't have the money, I can't afford it. Is this really the right way for me to spend the money right now? People always have a money objection no matter what it is. The third thing people have is belief. There are two types of beliefs. The first belief is believing in themselves that they can achieve success and overcome the challenges with your product or your service. The second belief they have is in your product or service. They don't know if this is the right one, which is why testimonials, video testimonials, sharing your community results is so important. When you're able to address these four things and you're also able to add more into this, they're gonna be personalized objections as well for your target audience. You wanna narrow those down into eight to 10 and you always answer them in the webinar. And you wanna do this over and over again, especially if you're doing a live webinar, because once you do it over and over again, you'll notice this trend and then you'll prepare you to record that one final webinar that's gonna make it an automated process for you. For now, you know that the intro, you wanna share your story, you wanna talk about why your audience should listen to you, what are your values, you spread your video testimonials throughout the main parts of your webinar, you lead in with the belief shifting and the value add in every single part, three to five core shifts that your target audience needs to have, you go into the build up where you add the value up, and you show into the compelling offer and you lead in with the guarantee, you lead in with the risk reversal, the uh, scarcity, urgency, all these different things. And then you go into your Q&A and then you do wrap up the webinar. That's the core structure of a eight-figure webinar. Now what you can do, as promised, you can go on to Digital Marketing University, there's gonna be a link here. You click on there, you go there, you can see an expanded post on the video that you just watched. That's gonna give you actual images, step-by-step -step templates, everything you need to know, and even a slide, a Google slide template for you to get access to to implement this eight-figure webinar, make it easier for you, easier for your team to implement this, and also all the nuances, the principles, and additional stuff that's built on the conversion principles, and also real-life practices that it takes to build an even more successful webinar. And this post is also gonna be updated on the website. So go there, check it out. Now, three core things I want you to do. I want you to like this video right here. Like it right now. It tells me that you enjoy this content I'm producing for you. It gives us a uh, motivation to keep going. And the second thing I want you to do, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. What any questions that you have? Are you gonna prepare a webinar? What webinar are you gonna prepare for? How are you gonna structure your webinar? You can comment below and I'll get back to you personally. The third thing you should do finally, the most important thing is subscribe to this channel. It's one of the fastest growing YouTube channels on there for entrepreneurs that wanna grow their businesses online. And I want you to join the community. I want you to subscribe. You can see my face somewhere right there. I want you to subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.